Hello, I am Knight Rider seven six zero two. As you know, Knight Rider. I mean, <sighs> sorry, mispronouncing my name is like a common habit for me. So never mind. Iron Man two is coming out this Friday, and I decided that I will do a list of what makes Iron Man good, bad, and just some of the good list parts of it. So basically, this is my opinion of what Iron Man me like in good times and a bad time and I encourage you to go see the movie Friday yep starting off my list number whatever will be Iron Man's drinking problem or Tony's Tony Stark as we all know is Iron Man right well Tony has been drinking from the bottle one too many times in this comic I believe this is called demon in a bottle Featuring what Iron Man's drinking problems, he constantly drinks, and he sometimes, I don't really believe this sometimes, but he'll go drunk, and he'll be Iron Man and have to kick the crowd off somebody, which is kind of bad, because one, he's drunk, two, he could seriously injure somebody, and three, he's drunk. What more do I get? Um, Is there like such a thing as a... As a FUI flying under the influence, that's what Tony is under all the time. I mean, I mean, sure Tony did stop after a while, but it caused so much pain. Um, if I can remember his name, I can't remember his name for the life of me. He kind of almost killed that guy. If anybody write in the comment section like who he was, oh my gosh. Next on my list is the coming of War Machine. I basically love um this character too for my personal reason. He's not the character that has like those powerful lasers. He carries guns. Anybody who don't know who War Machine is, he is James Rhodes, one of Tony Stark's personal best friends. And he basically uses the um War Machine suit to liberate this what I always forget his name, but this guy from a camp. Now, in the beginning Tony believes that Rhodey was, like, misusing the armor. I mean, true. I mean, you go hog crazy in a village and you do kind of lose the fact that you're, like, misusing it. But later on, when Tony needs his help, he comes in that war machine suit and helps. Note to self, he's also in this movie, Iron Man 2. Go see it Friday. I will be making a lot of references to this movie. Okay, next, and one of my stupidest reasons I hate this guy, is the, selling himself to Obadiah Stane. Selling Stark Enterprises to Obadiah Stane. As you know, Tony Stark didn't really want to become part of his father's business. What happens is, he sells the um, whole place to Obadiah Stane. But Rhodey keeps Stane from getting the Iron Man suit. But later on, Obadiah Stane becomes the Iron Monga. If I ever pronounced correctly, it's like the Mach One Iron Man, but like with a deadlier power. Obadiah thinks he can become Iron Man himself. You, this comes to show you that you can't, well, be Iron Man, because Iron Man is Tony Stark one, and two. Obadiah Stane is a jerk. I mean, I don't know how much I can stress this. I hate this guy. Okay. I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. Why? One, he's like, even until the, um, the new Iron Man cartoon, the, um, Armor Adventures, he's, um, in Obadiah, it's, he actually renamed Stark Enterprises to Obadiah, I believe Obadiah Enterprises as well. Meaning, Obadiah's in control. I'm like, dude, I don't like this guy. He suckers Tony out of it. Well, my on my opinion, uh, next one, another one from the movie is Whiplash. Whiplash happens to be one of my favorite villains in Iron Man. Um, Whiplash, um, I actually did look this up. He was originally called Backlash, and used to have one whip. He didn't really have two. Basically, he Whiplash or Backlash in the beginning was written off as a sucky villain. I mean, if it wasn't for him being being Whiplash, he would have been on the sucky villains list I'll be making. But scratching him off now, he is a pretty epic guy. I mean, 
anybody that could actually beat Iron Man in a fight, surprisingly, he is one of my favorite villains. I know his name used to be Backlash, um, Whiplash. I don't know what his name is. I think the guy has an identity issue. And he has multiple costumes. If you want to go see him, look on the internet. Marvel.com, maybe. Well, enough talking about my favorite villain. Let's get on to the next part of Iron Man. Was that he formed the Avengers. If it wasn't for him, we would not have the Avengers. Basically, Iron Man got Thor, Ant-Man, the Wasp, and the other Avengers. And he happens to find Captain America in ice. If any of you don't know the story of Captain America, he was a World War II veteran. Got, fell off um, some missile or something. Falls into ice freezing water. And he got frozen. For like... 50, 60 years after the war, maybe? Well, also, the Avengers did gain, like, a lot of characters, like the Hulk, um, Ms. Marvel? Um, there was actually a classic one, like, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America, Giant Man, Wasp. You know, going through all these guys is, like, a difficult and daunting task. Not that I don't hate these guys, I mean, to name them all. But finally, the one moment I believe that Iron Man somewhat exceeded and somewhat failed in, and this is the most popular subject to talk about, is the Civil War from in Marvel. What happens is, a Superhero Registration Act gets passed, and there is pro and there is con? I forgot what he, I forgot what it was. Basically, Captain America wants superheroes, and Iron Man's all like, no, no, superheroes are bad. Judging from that, you're a superhero yourself. Then, he, not only that, he liberates the others, including Spider-Man, if you've seen this picture, to fight against Captain America. Well, later on, Spider-Man's like, I'm, I, know what I'm, I, know what's, I know this is wrong, but I'm going to go fight for Captain America. And which resulted in Spider-Man becoming, um, unmasking himself. And the epic battle between Iron Man and Captain America, just epic. Not only that, it was the fact that Tony actually def wins. He wins this fight. I mean, after a grueling, I forgot how many, um, how many books there were, Iron Man wins. But I believe he just gets a change of heart and doesn't do it. And he sends Captain America into court, where we all know Captain America was sniped. You will be surely missed. All right, that was my list of the top ten, top, uh, top Iron Man moments ever. So join me later sometime, and I'll be signing out. And this is Knight Rider seven six zero two saying, "Go see Iron Man two. I will be back soon to do my Iron Man the movie review." This is Knight Rider 7602, once again telling you to go see the movie.